Um, all right, this is a quick unboxing and a quick review of the Holosun HE512C-GD. The GD right here stands for Go Dot Sight because uh, over here on the end of this one it says GR, which is a green dot sight. But this is the HE510C. Show you the comparisons, the differences. And compare them here in a little bit but uh, it comes in the standard Holosun style boxes paper you just pull off like this and the top piece come off um, comes with the user manual just like all Holosun or all products do. And here you can see inside the box, um, here's where the battery is, but I already put the battery inside the um, reflex site. And it comes with this new tool that they have. It's an all-in-one unit now. Um, it comes with a T10 Torx tool and the little flathead to adjust the windage and elevation. Um, right here on the side uh, and then this T10 Torx tool is for the to screw in uh, this red this reflex site onto the pick rails because it doesn't have the quick detach mount anymore like this one the uh, 510C and you'll see um, inside the box of the 510 how different it is so this is the he 510c i mean the user manual manual and see it comes with two battery trays uh, one right here extra one and one already mounted in here which you use the uh Torx tool right here. See, they have it separate. Um, they have the L wrench and then the windage and elevation separate, right? So the uh, 512, they just have this one tool, which pretty convenient. We're gonna check out the HE512C Gold Dot. I have it turned on. I left it on with the battery inside, but uh, here, turned off. Turned off, you press both plus and minus sign at the same time, and it's off. So to take the battery out, it has the quick release um, on, the side, on the right side right here. So you just pop that open and then turn it counterclockwise one time halfway and then pull it out and then you'll see the CR2032 battery minus sign facing up plus sign facing down um, they don't give you an extra um, tray like the 510C but uh, you don't need an extra tray you just need extra batteries. So just slide that back in like this and then turn it counter, uh, not counter, but clockwise. Straighten it out and good to go. Batteries in there, it's all good. Difference is it's a fully enclosed shroud with no quick detach um, mount like the 510, which is a two piece top piece right here and then the uh, mount s screws in the bottom you could take these screws off and put like a riser or put a different mount instead of a quick detach mount that it comes with but I like this style um it's pretty still pretty good pretty light they're they're both 
not heavy at all. They say the 512 is like point something ounce heavier than the 510. But uh, I mean, you can't, you can't really tell the difference unless you actually weigh it separately. So uh, this is the go dot and uh, multi reticle with all hollow suns, you know, to change it, you just hold down the minus buttons for a few seconds. And it goes to the gold dot, single gold dot, two MOA. Hold it down for a few seconds again. It goes to the 65 MOA by itself. And then hold it down for three seconds. It goes back to the 2 MOA and 65 MOA. I'm on auto mode. Auto mode is uh, utilizing the Shake Awake technology, which is trademarked by Holosun. Um, and I just leave it on when it's on my rifle. Um, so it'll fall asleep when there's uh, no motion. And then once you grab it, it, it wakes up and turns on for a uh, quick, you know, axis you don't have to just press the button when shit's going down shit's hit the fan and shit you know you just grab the rifle and it turns right on so that's what i like right and uh there's the light projecting but uh we're gonna take this out and test it out and uh shoot with it can't wait